Hello, Hilda and, and uh, Michelle. Hello, you've not been here today. So I'm going to do a little demo that you've missed today for the, uh, the faces that we've, we've drawn. Huh? The faces, the shapes. So we'll concentrate on the shapes only and not on the likeness or will be a lot more harder. Well, a lot harder. I mean, it's not a necessity to, to see the, the likeness of, of, the, of the face, basically. It's more the shapes. It's all about shaping the head, the way it looks. Okay, so let's take that little face here, that little uh, the, the shape that the, the shape of the head here. There you are, you have this, and you have the head moving down, hair, hair, eyebrow, nose, and lips. That's what I mean. So don't concentrate, do not concentrate on, on likeness. There's no need for that. It's not an exercise of ni on likeness, but it's an exercise on shape and gesture. There you have the eye, eye of the girl, the nose, lip, less dark on the, and then lip, and then eye up, down here. <clears throat> and then a bit more chin and a bit of ear there. So that's one. Um, that's, that was considered today to be one of the difficult ones of the pauses. Now, um, next one, next one, let me see, will be, which one? Will be, uh, say that girl here, that, well, it's the same girl, obviously, same model, moving the head down, up, sideways. So let's do that then. She's looking upwards, okay? Then you got the face, the head, chin, um, cheek, forehead moving back, backwards, hair, ear, ear is within the shadow there, so ear is there. And how about I go around here and do that shadow, look at this. See that shadow moving all there, 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 there. That's what I was concentrating on. Then you have the nose, shadow of the nose. Then you have her big eyebrow and the eye here. There you are. Eyebrow, the eye, and then lip. Hmm? <clears throat> shape, the shape of the head. And the gesture is looking up. There we are. And then all this is in shadow. Hmm? So there. Keep it light. Keep it light. Keep the shadow light, I mean. Nostril. I mean nose, sorry. Well, nostril and nose. Hair, um, forehead. Eyebrow. Eye, cheekbone, and lip. How about that? It's basically, it's very simple. It's very, very simple. I, I would like you to, to concentrate on, again, gesture, gestural drawing, uh, I'm sharpening the edges of the charcoal. So gestural drawing, um, the axis, how the head moves back and forth. Um, the last, the last thing to look for will be the likeness, because again, as I said, it's not the most, uh, it's not the most important thing there. It is important, of course, and if you can do a good likeness, I mean, go for it. But it's not the exercise that I would I would like you to do today. Um, let's do another. Let's do two more samples. Uh, there. That was also considered very difficult. So there you have it. Look, it helps to go in actual line. Just draw all around the face. There, there, there. So help help yourself out. See. The design of the head. It's actually her flesh tone. Mm -hmm. Flesh tone here. 
Jo. That, that is difficult, so keep an eye on that. So you've got the jaw looking up. Chin. Neck. Neck. The other side of the neck. Um, now what is difficult is that where the nose exceeds, which is basically somewhere here. And then you have forehead. Eyebrow, eyelid, mouth, and there's no need for lower lip because you don't <clears throat> actually see it. And her chin, cheek, sorry. And of course, ear and hair. And a beautiful neck, long neck. There we are. Hmm. That was it. It's the gesture. It's the gesture and the angle of of her movement. Huh? Hair, um, head, hair, both, and chin hair. Now, what else would you consider difficult here? Hmm. Um, how about this one? That's difficult as well. So let's go for this one then. This one. And again, shape of the head, chin, jaw. Oh, this is dark. It's dark shadow. Shadow under the under the jaw. Um, neck, nose, moving upwards, eyebrow, eye, tip nose, okay. And there we are. There. Chin. And you got the neck coming down this way. And dark, see, dark, 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 dark. Here we are. And then ear, ear. Let's Established where the ear is, which is right there. Is that it's right under the chin, so that's the end of the ear, ear lobe, and then ear itself, and you have a little bit of darker side burn here. They're darker. Darker. Hair. And. Again, working a little bit more. Detailed on the nose. Which is basically. To get the nose shadow. Lip. I think the lip should go there, an angle of that sort. Eye should go further up. And eyebrow. There we are. And the jawline. And neck. Okay. Well, that's it basically. Hmm? There you are. Different shapes, different different shapes, different 
angles, different movements of the head, and on all of them, don't forget the earlobe is here on, the, on this side. And what you can illustrate even more, well, make it a lot closer, it will be, how about you do this shadow here. around the head, which is basically the background. How about that? That will help even more. Okay, class, so I'll see you then. Uh, that was it. Hmm? This is the exercise. Hmm? So let's go for it then. As usual, sorry for that noise. I'll go a bit closer. So we've done that, which is the girl there. Same portrait, same girl, different poses. This, which is that, that girl which is that angle there, sorry, that portrait, that angle here, which is, I guess, the one, where was that? That last one, that one there, is, oh, is that, I guess, is that? Or maybe that down here. Possibly down there. So what I'm, I can add a little bit more to this would be this neck here, hmm? neck down here, and that shadow here. There you are, and a bit more neck, and more shoulder. That will help. See, that gives a movement of, she's looking upwards. Emphasize the, the, the upwards movement. All right then, see you on the next one. Bye-bye.